Welcome to Dark Pixie Gaming. I'm Pixie and today we're going to hop back into playing Anna's Quest. Let's get into it. Okay, so if I look a little rough, all I did today was put on um, a little bit of lip liner. That's all I've got going on. I don't have anything else, any other makeup going on today. I've got a bad headache this morning, so sorry if I look disheveled. But where we left off, um, Mr. Roostwig had gotten his cabin and then he blew us off and he's not holding up his end of the deal. So let's see if we can talk to him. Oh, it's you. Again? Sorry to bother you, Roostwig. I was just wondering, do you think you could help me with one last performance? The Vice of Fallon. Come enough. You must understand. Retired means retired. Finished. The end. I know, I understand. Really, I do. It's just, well, my grandpa is sick and... Please, please, spare me your tales of woe. I've heard it all. Mr. Roostwig, I did help you, remember? It would mean so much to me. <sighs> Very well. Here. I have no more use of it. If you so desperately need to hear the violin, well... I suggest you get practicing. Oh, well, I could give it a shot, I guess. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, I guess that's something, right? That is something. That's not a, that's not what I was expecting. So, what should we do? Let's go to the lake. And I guess we will We'll try to play it at the lake. I don't think this is gonna work. It's, that just seems too simple. So, I mean, let's see here. Okay, let's see here. to entrance them, not anger them. <laughs> you... you're saying I'm no good? Well, well, you know, it's not that you're exactly bad. Yeah. Kill it! Kill it! Actually, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Jeez, everyone's a critic. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, can't win them all. But I don't have anyone else to play for me. I don't know, Anna. If that's the case, you need to get better somehow. Improving, huh? All right, thanks, Hans. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I got an achievement. Kill it! Kill it! Okay, so... Obviously, I knew that wasn't going to work. I will see if he'll give me a lesson. I doubt he will. Nah, I don't think it will do any good going there again. Oh, so that's not even an option. Okay, let's go back then. That's not it. The only thing I can think of is that in the store that he has a violin. But I know he's not going to let me trade. Because it's a magical violin. Excuse me, sir. Do you? Nope. But I... Please, no more talking. Just be done with your looking and leave me be. Oh, okay then. What can I get with this? Nothing. It's useless. But this is from the great Roostwig von Beitariki. Who? One of the greatest musicians in the land. Or, at least that's what he says. I've never heard of him. There. It's useless. Hmm. So my violin looks exactly like that violin. I wonder if I could make a distraction 
and try to swap the violin so he's not looking at me. Let's see. Using it here is a little un- Okay. I need him to look this way, though. Grandpa always warned me against being destructive for the sake of it. Okay. But this is <laughs> Hold it. it oh. Hmm. Mm, just get out of here. Okay. <laughs> it worked! It worked! It worked! It worked! It worked! Okay. Let's go back to the lake. Okay. Let's see here. Things on the wrong part of the lake? <laughs> Reward such beauty. We must reward. Yes? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, perhaps the amber ore as a reward? Yes. Our treasure. Our most beloved possession. Guard. We must guard, but we must reward. Ooh, conflicting. The amber orb. Yes. We will get the reward. It's so little. I pictured it much bigger. Oh, nice. Anna, you did it. That was amazing. Ah, oh, nice. shucks. Well, to be completely honest, I kind of cheated. Never mind that. You broke their hold over the amber orb. After all these years. It's... it's unbelievable. Well, I couldn't have done it without your help, Hans. If there's anything I can do for you, something to help your spirit rest... It's... it's strange, but I feel like... like you're already helping me. No. No, not me. It's actually an old friend. Oh, is that so? Well, that's good then, I think. It is. I feel at peace now. The reason I came here to this lake. It's so long ago, though. I just remember her reaching to me. She's so sad. It was me. I... I made her sad. Oh, Anna, it was a mistake. Such a terrible mistake. I... I should never have come here. Hans... But what you're doing... I can't explain it. But it's helping my friend. I know it is. Then let's get this spell done. For Grandpa, and for her. Thank you for everything, Anna. Thank you. Is it when Frida is when Frida his friend? <laughs> Goodbye, Yay. Hans. I hope you're at peace now, wherever you are. Meanwhile... And there I was, the band of thieves all around, their eyes on the royal jewels. Oh, yes, I see. Wow, you sure are brave. And just then, as I raised the sword, light glinting right off my steel... Sir, there you are! Well, no, wait, this is the best bit! It's the girl, sir! She's been spoiled! What? What? 
Where? Sir, one of the villagers. They say they've seen her walk into this very town just this very night. By the stars. Right under our noses. The nerve. And the bear man. No sighting, sir. I will keep asking around about both of them, sir. Well, maybe it's a good idea to see if they've left the village. Because if I was then, but I'm definitely not. Definitely not. Well, that's what I'd do. Run away. Far away. <laughs> <laughs> that is good of you, kind sir, to offer your simpleton assistance. This is a matter for the great minds of the Royal Guards, is it not? Sir, exactly right. As always, sir. We'll hop to it. Back to the nitty-gritty, man. Let's root out those dastardly rapscallions, rapscallions. once and for all. <laughs> oh, hurry, Anna. And just I mean, like I... that... The Vice of Rowan went down and brought the orb up to me personally. Thrilling. You have the orb anyway, that's all that matters. Well, yes, but you know that's quite a story, isn't it? Yes, nothing beats a child prattling on while people lay cursed and waiting. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. I don't trust so this two down, all. one to go. I don't have an option, though. If you wish to discuss the last one, hurry up about it. So, should my little dragon light this yet? Oh, he could certainly light, but... I don't have a reason yet. Okay, never mind. Okie dokie. Now I have to avoid guards? No, they're not here. Okay, let me go inside the church. I have to figure out how to open this. I did have... Let me come over here to the church organ. It has to be playing this. Is there sheet music? Could the pattern on the stump have something to do with this? I yes, don't even know if I'm pressing the right keys here. There's so many. True. Okay, thank goodness it saved my, my progress. Okay, let me talk to him and see... I don't know what happened. Hello it again, Theodore. To... Hello. It's sealed shut. Very thick and heavy looking, too. I wonder how it's opened. It's a big old beautiful church organ. It must play amazing music. Well, it would if you knew how to play, which I don't. I really do love these. They're just so big and detailed and just lovely. The left one is showing an evil, dark, creepy looking figure underground amongst flames. The right window is a big red dragon flying above people celebrating. Hold on. I wonder if there's any clues like Theodore said. Let's see. Hmm. No. Nothing about a bell tower, I don't think. Nothing really looks out of the ordinary. Oh, wait, except this. There's a small cluster of strange little symbols here on the right window. Huh, how about that? Not sure what it means, but it definitely is peculiar. Hmm. So now that I've seen the symbols, can I light, can I light the light now in the back? I have a feeling, okay, I need to light the light. We already knew that. I have a feeling that if I do, it's going to show something on the windows. So, little dragon. Oh, he could now. certainly light the lamp for me. Only, yeah. it's been so long since he's eaten anything but berries. I oh. think he's all out of fire. It still looks really dark, and I don't know why. Ugh, no way. I'm... Dragon oh, yes. or These look perfect for you, little guy. <laughs> Must be nice to have some dragon friendly food after all those berries. Okay. I'm sorry it's so dark, y'all. It's fine out here now. How weird. Okay, let's go to the alley. And then we'll get our little dragon. Hmm. Come on, light him. Hmm. He could certainly light up. the lamp for me, but it's he's too high up for him. But he's a dragon. I don't 
want to hurt the poor guy. What if I just use my telekinesis on the lamp? Oh yeah! If I bent the lamp down, I could light the lanterns. Then maybe I can light those pretty patterns on the window. Let's see. Mm. Aha! Okay. Now I can reach them. Now, little baby dragon. There you go. Is that me bending it back, I guess? Yep. I just needed that one. I didn't even need the other one. Okay, so let me go into the church. And will it show on the organ now? Ha ha ha! It does. It does, but I don't remember. Don't remember what they looked like. So let's so look at it. It's like okay. the patterns are burnt right into the wood there. I'm take a picture. This must be the shrine. Fan. It must be. But what does it mean? So mystical and mysterious. Okay. I took a picture. sounded pretty good. I think I'm getting better at this. Oh, yes! I think I did something. Aha! Uh -huh. Stars above, I, I don't it. believe it. You, you, you did it. I did you do it! You opened the door, young one. After all these years, you did it. <laughs> Look at that! Stairs! This must be the bell tower, right? It can only be the stairs to the Red Dragon's bell itself. Oh, how Yay. exciting! You don't want to look? Come on, I know you must be dying to see her. Oh no, no I can't. I'm a little nervous, I think. This is a moment I must savor and cherish. Go, young one. I'll be here waiting for you. That's weird, okay. I can't reach that from here. Okay, I get it, I get it. Mm. Hmm. hmm. I don't know if that worked. Wait. Oh, wait. I think I see something. Is that... I think I see something flying towards me. Actually, uh-oh, I think it's charging at me. Ah! Uh, nice d dragon. I just, just need to g go to Glasma Mountain, you see, and... Oh, dear. Okay, so the only thing I can think of is, I have this baby dragon, is this your baby? Oh, of course. This little guy, is he, is he yours? Aww. Cute! Aww, how precious. All this time, she just wanted her baby back. Jeez, no wonder you are so upset. I'm sorry, yeah, true. I didn't know. Um, I hope this isn't too much to ask now, but do you think... Could you fly me to the top of Glass Mountain, maybe? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important, honest. It's... It's for my family, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. What 
did she expect? Yay! Oh, Glass Mountain's weird looking. I mean, that was incredible. Like made of I glass. really can't thank you enough, Red Dragon. I just have to quickly look for something, and then we can get going, okay? Something tells me it's not going to be quick, though. Okay, but we'll try to get the rose. Ah, not all right, Crank. Ah, crazy. And what was I doing here again? <laughs> uh, hello, sir. I, I was wondering. Ah, uh, no, you can't have it. Whoa, but, huh? Ah, you again? <laughs> I said no. Go home. But, sir, you don't even know what it is I came for. Well? Oh, I... I need a rose. A special rose from the top of this mountain. A rose? But I thought you were here for... Uh, hmm. No! You can't have it! Now go away forever! But do you know where the rose is, sir? Of course! I have it right... Wait... Ah, no, no idea. No roses here. Now so you do away. have it! Hmm. How rude. Why would someone living in a place with such a view have their shutters closed? Maybe it's cold, like cold. Locked. Mm. <laughs> Who's there? Not all right, Crank. Ah, crazy. And what was I doing here again? Mm. Mm. Who is it? What's going on here? Where'd you go? Uh, hey, Rink Crank. Wh huh? What? It's me, your, uh, conscience, <laughs> I think it's called. Wait, did you open the window? Yes, and, uh, well, I had to get your attention, see? And it worked. I need you to do something, Rink Crank. That rose of yours. I mean, ours. Wait a second. Wait one second. So, the rose, if you can just go get and bring it to the nice girl. What? No, I don't do what the voices tell me. Not anymore. <laughs> hmm. I think I need to work on this plan a little more. <laughs> Guilty conscience. I closed it! I know I closed it! I know I did! Aha! Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Got you! <laughs> uh, oh my! <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. I just, just need a moment and... <laughs> <laughs> Mister, calm down, please! Okay. That's better. Mega freaking mega. <laughs> All right. Now, sir, I don't mean to cause you any trouble. My grandpa, he, he's really sick. Hmm, I don't care. Why should I help you? You're just the pesky little trespassing ne'er do well. Ne'er do well. You know, I, I think you know what it's like being up here all alone. See, if I didn't have my grandpa, I'd be completely lost. I wouldn't know what to do. No! Stop trying to appeal to my emotions! I don't have any! And if I don't find the rose <laughs> soon, I... I'll be all alone too, sir. Mm, if I give you the rose, will you just leave me already? If you really want me to, then yeah. yes. Forever and ever. Fine, fine, fine. Open this window already. Rink Rink, you have no idea how much this means to me, really. Mm, I don't care. Go, scram. <laughs> oh, meanwhile. Meanwhile. It was something, something about me being brave. No, wait, that's all my stories. Wait, yes, that's it. By Jove, I remember now. 
the story about the thieves. Now, okay. And there I was, the band of thieves all around, their eyes on the royal jewels. Oh, yes, that's oh, right. This story again. This story gets better every time you tell it, I think. And just then, as I raised the sword, light glinting bright off my steel. Sir, more reports, Justine. <laughs> wait, no, wait, not at this bit again. You always ruin it for me. It's the girl again, sir. She's been spotted just now. She was seen making her way to the alley behind the church, sir. By the stars. She must have walked right past the tavern. The nerve. Ah, uh, also, sir, it is said she arrived in the town with a different ally, sir. Uh, I... I should probably, uh... bid you farewell now. A strange mustachio gentleman was the witness's description, sir. The devil? An ally, you say? Oh, dear. And even oh, though no. he didn't like having his beard trapped, he was forced to sit still for just a second to hear me out. I didn't take you for the violent type. But, no, that's... Oh, you don't think that's violent, do you? Hush, hush, I'm teasing for goodness sake. That's it. We have all the items, finally. All right, and we can make the cure now, right? Indeed, yes. Ha ha ha. A cure indeed. Let's begin. I don't trust her! For what was forged, suppress the malign. For what I reflect, return what is mine. Fool. I... I'm sorry? I knew it! Now, to finish what I started, child. No, no, it can't be. <gasps> M Madame? Oh, your highness. Huh. Since you incompetent monkeys are incapable of doing your own job, I've followed the wanted criminal and apprehended her myself. Now, seize her at once. Yes, your, your highness, highness. At once. At once. Highness? Throw her into the dungeons. I knew it! Well, I didn't know Despite that that was... all of Anna's brave Frida. efforts, the witch's trickery prevailed. All was for Winfrida's gain. And now, somehow under the witch's command, the guards tore the newly forged friendship apart. Plead as she might, the girl was taken away and locked in the depths of the darkest of dungeons. In this most dire of hour, Anna could not help but lament, for her hopes for a cure had been all but dashed. Oh, you're back from the village. Anna, where were you? Grandpa, we've been through this before. You know how I feel about you being out at night. But I'm fine. You don't have to worry so much. I do. I really do. Oh, if only you knew what lurks outside the farm, what evils there are in the world, what they've done to... <coughs> Grandpa? I'm all right. I'm all right. Are... are you okay? What happened? Please, just... <coughs> if you could, I could find some medicine from the cabinet. Okay. Oh no, it's locked! The key. It's... Uh, the fireplace. Key, key. Where is it? Oh, I don't see it. Ah, here. I see what you mean. Ah, I can't quite reach. Ah, got it. How could you not see things moving? Like, would you think your house was haunted? Here, quickly. 
have to listen to me. I, I know you feel like you have to find help, but whatever happens, you must always be careful. Well, what do you mean? Always be wary, Anna, of everyone, of everything. The world is tough, but you, you must be even tougher. Grandpa. Don't ever forget what I've told you. Remember, however near or far we may be. In our hearts, we carry our family. Hmm. So that was right when he was falling ill. Wow. The damsels wager with the devil. Okay, so that is where we're going to go ahead and end Grandpa, this episode. What have I gotten myself into now? I thought I was helping, but... But all I've done is made things worse. I've only helped Winfrieda with whatever wicked plans she has, and now... Ben is gone, and I... I don't know where they've taken him. Now I... I can't save you anymore, Grandpa. <laughs> I should have been more careful, like you said. I should have listened. I... I... I'm sorry, Grandpa. Grandpa? Winfrieda? Anna? Anna, is that you? Huh? Y yes I am Anna. How did you... Who's there? Oh my... You poor, poor girl. Oh, then it really is happening. Winfrieda must have already tricked the king. Which can only mean... What? Hey, old man. Quit your yapping. Winfrieda? But how do you know all of this? Who are you? Anna, listen to me. You must be strong. I know things look dire. But there is still hope. I know all about you, my dear. You, your grandpa, Winfrieda. You see, I am. I said shut it! I'm warning you. But mister, I'm trapped in a prison. What can I possibly do now? What, what you've always done, my dear. Persevere. Who are Find you? Me. Whatever it takes, I have to tell you. You need to know that... Jeez, what part of shut it don't you get, huh? One more word out of you. Please, hurry. Well... It's two words. Oh, okay. I'll do it. I'll come find you. Somehow. Okay. That is where we're going to go ahead and call this episode. Uh, I knew it. Ew. Ew. That was disgusting. Ugh. I knew not to trust that woman. I did not realize that it was Winfrieda in disguise, though. Oh, my gosh. So, um... Oh, God. I can't even look at that. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the episode, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And share the video if you'd like to share it. And like I said, if you made it to the end of the video... If you made it to the end of the episode, comment the word trick, because we were tricked. That way I know you made it to the end of the, of the episode. As always, be kind to each other and have a great day. Bye!